it's unboxing time i was really excited to open these boxes i really wanted to open them but i had exams and i did want to film the whole opening process and that's why i was waiting and i finished my exams today and i can't wait anymore so let's let's begin i'm not sure about some books like i think i bought small island but then i'm not sure if i did we have some bookmarks in here okay you have this one which says let's move on all right this one with clouds and a coat take a step towards your biggest dreams all right so here's this one you have the power to protect your peace really fantasy kind of vibes book lovers never go to bed alone i think this unironically has the flag colors of ukraine the flag colors of ukraine what is that supposed to mean read second hand save trees exactly like everybody who's asking me why did i give away my books to buy second hand books because of this because of this and how many books did i give away i gave like i think um, nine books away and this is just a calendar i don't know what i'm gonna do with it but it's okay fine i hope none of these bookmarks repeat in the other box because that's gonna be a bit disappointing but obviously you know you can't help it the first book is whatever book I can pick up, really. And the first book that I managed to pick up is Past Imperfect by Julian Fellow. I got this book um, because I don't know, I just bought it. The blurb, as you call it, it's quite interesting and the reviews say that the book is quite funny. Next book is uh, Julian Barnes, Arthur and George and my god it's such a lovely cover. I did not know that this is kind of like based on um, Sherlock Holmes and Watson but it did. It's been shortlisted for the Man Booker Prize in 2005. Exit West by Mohsin Hamid. Again, shortlisted for the Man Booker Prize 2017. If you take the top cover away, it it's it looks quite um, small. Real big font on real short pages. So that's good. This is book number four, Looking for Alaska. And just got it. I don't know. I I was always gonna read this book. Fifth book is The Light Between Oceans by M. L. Stedman. A lot of people think that the cover is pretty. I don't think so. I really did not like the cover all that much. Book number six, Bridget Jones's <laughs> Diary. As old as the series, I don't know. Um, but it's it's good quality. I think it's good enough quality. The True History of the Kelly Gang, a novel by Peter Carey. This is the book that won the Booker Prize in 2001, which is the year in which I was born. So, got it. I did not know that this, I did not remember buying this actually. I thought I did not buy this, but it's here and it's a pretty cover. Did I already show it to you guys? It's a pretty cover. I think all of these books have really pretty looking covers except the Bridget Jones one but um, it's very old so like just looking at this book makes me feel like I'm in the 90s like I'm somebody who's living and existing in the 90s so that's good that's a good feeling a different feeling 
um, book number, I keep forgetting what number it is, maybe this is book number seven, I'm not sure, but this is um, Amsterdam by Ian McEwan. I had to look up the pronunciation of this man's name before I started filming this video. Once again, winner of the Booker Prize. How many of these are Booker Prize winners? Okay, or like nominees. I don't know. A Week in December by Sebastian Fox. I actually found a lot of Sebastian Fox books, but I was like, one Sebastian Fox book is enough and you've got this. No more, no more his books because I do like him. I did like Bird Song and it's a good book. It's it's relatable in, in a way. I, I'm not gonna explain, but it's flawed. I think it's a very flawed book. This one seems to be in pretty good condition. I think somebody bought it and then they decided that it was not the thing. Wolf Hall, Wolf Hall. Somebody really wanted me to read this book. So Wolf Hall by Hilary Mantel, winner of the 2009 Booker Prize. And that's there. Let's see, there's one more book in here. It's not gonna, I can't, I'm sorry. But if we take this one book and we take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten books, one box. Box number two. Let's look at the bookmarks. Already seen this one. Getting Smarter Every Day. Love that one. Read more books. Yeah. This had fewer bookmarks compared to the previous box. I don't know, I'm not sure. But I think this box has more books. Let's see. Leaving the fair on the first day, I found this book and I had not expected to find this book in the fair because I think this book is rare. I don't know if there are enough mentally ill people who like this book, but apparently there are uh, because I did find it in the fair. But then I was like, I'm not going to buy it because I already have a copy and I should let somebody else buy it. However, on the second day, while I was leaving, I saw that nobody had bought this book yet. And I was like, yeah, I'm kind of attached to it now. I need to get it. So I got it. It's um, summer in February. <laughs> the book that inspired my channel channel's name. If you guys did not know it, you know it now. This is the edition that was printed after the movie was made. This one more book, then I made them reseal it. Somebody's written something inside. Please, somebody's name. The next book is Lady Chatterley's Lover by D.H. Lawrence, a family trip to Kochi. I saw this book at Lulu Mall and I really wanted to get it, but the cover of the book made me a bit apprehensive about disappointing my father. Waverly by Walter Scott, one of the earliest novels ever. Very daunting, very daunting. I don't know when it's gonna happen, but it's gonna happen someday, someday in my life. Next book is Dr. Sivago. I hope I said that right. I need to look up the pronunciation. But Dr. Zivago by Boris Pasternak. I'm kind of always interested in knowing what happens in this book. And now I have it. So that's good. That's great. Next book is The Immigrant by Manji Kapoor really excited to read this number i don't know is middle march by george Eliot. i had once seen a video where um somebody read this book very beautifully and that video has now been deleted but it was very beautiful and that video made me want to read this book watching a lot of benjamin mcavoy's channel and he loves this book so I was like, yeah, let me give it a try. Let me see what it's about. The next book, Nick Hornby, About a Boy. There's a Hugh Grant movie as well. 
I actually did not know that the movie is based on, you know, a book. Thomas Hardy, Jude the Obscure, which I have just now realized is, it is in, it's, it's, it's in Saturday, apparently, not apparently, or maybe, yeah, apparently Benedict Cumberbatch loves this book. Everything's falling today. Everything's falling. Starter for 10 by David Nichols. I think this is going to be fun. I think this is going to be real fun. Great Apes by Will Self. I always wanted to try Will Self. You had the books that were, you know, like arranged. And then you had a corner where you had boxes of books that people had like donated and they're still not arranged them. However, I did not know this. I just thought that, you know, some of the books were just going to be there and you had to go to the corner and, you know, search. A lot of people are doing that. So I too jumped in and the first book I pulled out, it was this uh, Parade Sen by Ford Maddox Ford was kind of thinking of buying this book. The first book I pulled out is a, is, is a book with Benedict Cumberbatch on, on the cover and I just, I, just, I just wanted to buy it. Four books that make a series, all of them in one volume. Let's see, let's count the books. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 books, 12 books guys, for now, goodbye, so much editing is gonna be required for this thing to be watchable. Mm -hmm.